Praise the Lord. Menu for today, uh, viewer. Keep counting your blessings. Keep counting your blessings. There is a singer who sang a song and he said, Count your blessings one by one. God is the giver and we are the receivers. And his richest gifts are bestowed not upon those who do the greatest things, but upon those who accept his abundance and his grace. God has promised abundance. Number two, peace and even eternal life. These treasures are ours for the asking. One of the greatest mysteries of life is why so many of us wait so long to lay claim of God's gift. In the book of Numbers chapter 6 and verse 24 to 25, the Bible says, The Lord bless you. This was a, a prayer that the Lord guided Aaron to speak to the children of Israel. And he says this, The Lord bless you. And I also say the same today, viewer. May the Lord bless you. And the Lord keep you. May he also keep you today. In other words, keeping you, it means to protect you. Again also, to sustain you. And thirdly, to guard you. So you will be sustained, you will be protected, and you will be guarded. I love this. Sometimes this scripture, sometimes it makes me get mesmerized. When I think about the power in the word of, of the Lord. And then he continues to say in verse 25. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Make his face shine. How will the Lord make his face shine upon you? In fact, I love the amplified version because we can only access the shining upon our faces and our lives when we accept the word of the Lord and from that moment he will do what? What will he do for you? He will favor us. He will favor you. So in other words, may the Lord make his face shine upon you. In other words, may the Lord favor you. Once his face shines upon you, you will be, you'll be highly favored. One day a virgin lady by the, lady, by the name Mary, and we are, we are, we are, because we are in the December uh, month and the season we are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. She was just favored. Just a young girl and all of a sudden she was to uh, bear, she was the one who was supposed to give birth to the Creator so that as the second Adam who came in so that we may be able to receive our redemption. Can you imagine? That's favor. And not only that, so many other scriptural scriptures that we have in the Bible that guides us and shows us that the moment the face of the Lord would, with the Lord's face would shine upon you, your life shall never be the same again. A man, an old man, who had toiled, he had worked it along his, all, all, all his life, he was still poor. Is it possible that you can work tirelessly and still be poor? Yes, it is possible. But if God, if you believe in the word of the Lord, is it possible? No. Because God can be able to transform and change your life. And one man, one day, something, a calamity happened. David was coming from picking over the, the Ark of the Covenant from the Philistines. And all of a sudden, the guy decided to go and hold the Ark of the Covenant. And from that moment, he died instantly. And David was so worried and he said, we cannot go ahead with this thing. We want to put it, uh, where can we have it? rest for now. And then he was shown a house of Obed of Edom. And let me tell you, when the face of the Lord shines upon you, Obed Edom was nobody. He was not known in that country. He was not known in any, even in his village. But the moment only keeping, giving a space for the Ark of the Covenant to be put in his house. I'm telling you, three months, only three months, the Bible says he was the wealthiest man, even he was more richer than King David himself. That is the face of the Lord shining upon you. Can you wake up and you find yourself in a different environment by virtue of residence and everything it can happen? The kingdom of God is real. And these things are real. Be gracious to you. In other words, surrounding you with loving kindness. I love this particular scripture. And this is, by the way, was the guidance of Aaron by, by God himself on how he should bless the children of Israel. So may the Lord make his face shine upon you. May you receive the favor of the Lord today in Jesus' mighty name. And be gracious to you. If you try to count all your blessings, how long do you think it may take? There are so many blessings that God has given you. Very long time. After all, you have been given the priceless gift of life here on earth and the promise of the life internal in heaven. 
and you have been given so much more. So therefore, there was one servant who actually wrote and he said, we should think of the blessings we so easily take for granted. Like what? Waking up in the morning. Like what? Uh, moving your hand. Like, because you think it's normal. You think it's normal? It's not normal. Like as you can sleep and then the next minute you, you wake up and you're still speaking, you're still talking. Talking on, on what? You can wake up and you find yourself, you have no sound. You, 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 it is gone. Little, little things. Count your miracles. Little, little miracles that God has performed in your life. So therefore, uh, life itself, you need to understand that uh, there are so many things that happen around life. Preservation from danger. God has preserved you. Every bit of health we enjoy, God has kept you in good health. Every hour of liberty, the ability to see, the ability to hear, the ability to speak, the ability to think, the ability to even imagine, all this comes from the hand of God. It is so beautiful, this moment that you can be able to thank Him as well. That is sound advice for believers and those people who put their trust in the Lord. Followers of the one who actually came and was born in Nazareth, and I'm telling you, he became our creator, he became our redeemer, and he's the one through his precious blood, he shed on the cross. That's why today we are alive, and we are alive forevermore. Who have so much to be thankful, and by the way, through the blessing that he has given you, we need to appreciate those blessings at any given time because they are gifts from above. All indeed too, mer too numerous to count because they are too numerous to count. But it never hurts to begin counting them anyway. You can count them. You can start counting and you look at them. So from that other time you see the essence and the value of life and the gift he has given you. You may not have everything in this life, but whatever little that you have, God has given you an opportunity to celebrate those gifts my brother, my sister. It never has to say thanks to the giver for the gift you can count and all the other ones that probably he will be able to, to bring over into your life. God put, God's gifts puts men's best dreams to shame because sometimes the dreams of people they may not come to, they may not happen. Haman had a dream and he was looking for a way to how he could be able to clinch into power. But you know what, that dream was not materialized because he wanted to kill the Israelites. But I thank God, other than him, Mordecai was raised. I am telling you, today can be your day also. You may find yourself at the top. Why? There is a God who lives and he fulfills all the desires of our heart. God is always trying to give good things to us, but our hands are too full to receive them. And the best thing is to, pre to, empty, our, to empty our hearts and we let God take full control. We do not need to beg him to bless us. He simply cannot help it that he has to bless us because he has promised, ask it shall be given unto you seek. Then you will find knock and the door shall be opened. And I'm telling you, my brother, my sister, these blessings are yours and they are enormous. Believe it, start counting your blessings one by one and you will appreciate the kind of life that you are living in Jesus' mighty name. Let's bow our heads and let pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your loving kindness. We are counting our blessings, even this moment, even to, to the viewer. And even God of glory having given him an opportunity or an opportunity to be able to have a master to view this video, it will become a blessing. I pray that Lord you will meet him or her at the point of her need. And Father Babo, pay them a visitation in a special way. Father, we are counting the blessings that you have given unto us on a daily basis. The gift of life and the likes and so many Father. Gift of seeing, walking, doing things that we are doing on a daily basis. It is not God of a contract, but it's a blessing from you. We appreciate this moment and time, the things that you have done. Even for the viewer, let it be so that, Father, there will be a celebration for the good things that you have done in his or her life. And I pray that, Father, you're going to bless them. Yes, according to the book of Numbers, O oh God, let those blessings, Father, reach them. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, we pray and we believe. And everybody say, Amen.